you're looking at here is the spinner we built in an earlier app which has a choice of animals and asks you to pick your favorite animal. In this enhancement we're going to change this spinner so that the user can add new elements to it on the fly. To start off with, let's start by refactoring the code to make it a little bit cleaner. I'm going to take all this code out of the onCreate method and create a separate method. Now the main thing we want to achieve here is we want to try to make this array malleable. And the first thought that should come to your mind in trying to do this is that we need to replace the array with an array list. Luckily for us, this adapter that we're going to be using can not only take a, an array as its last argument, but it can also take an array list. So to make this spinner dynamic is fairly straightforward. What we're going to do is we're going to change this from final to just regular and we're going to change it from a string array to an array list of strings. So I've changed the array to an array list. I've allocated memory to it here and I've initialized it with three elements. We have to remember now since we've extracted all this information into a separate method that in our onCreate method we have to call this initialization method otherwise all that code will never get executed. What I've done in addition is I have now added another button or a button I should say to the screen and I've called this button the uh, add underscore B button and I've put the label add in all capital letters on top of it. Getting back to our code, I've uh, created a private variable button B underscore add and in the code I've associated the layout button on this side with the Java button on this side. Uh, what I need to do now is create an action listener for this button so that when that button is pressed we can give the user the opportunity to add another element to our drop down list. So I've done that right here. So I've set the on click listener and I've used the anonymous inner class structure and what happens is if the user presses that button I'm going to show a dialog and that's what we're going to discuss now at length. Um, but before we do that, I want to just point out this other new method that I've created, which is called update menu. And what this does is this is the actual code that inserts a new item into the drop down list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take whatever is given to me, this string, and I'm going to add it to the list of spinner choices that I already have. As a reminder, this is an array list now instead of an array. I'm going to recreate the adapter and I'm going to set the adapter for the spinner. The SP animals, remember, is the spinner object. And I'm going to set the adapter. So basically I'm going to redo each time a new element is added, I'm going to redo the entire spinner object. Now here is the dialog that we have with the user if they press the add button. Now this code is fairly complicated, but the good news is you can just cut and paste it. This is good code to have in your bailiwick because this is fairly generic code that you can use to ask the user to enter a string and then read in the string and do something with it. So you're going to need this code frequently in your Android programming life. Uh, I first create this builder object and then I set the title. This is the title that the user is going to see at the top of the dialog. I have to set up a little bit of uh, uh, logistics on the string itself. I have to this is the holder that's going to provide a place for the user to enter the information. This specifies what kind of input is coming in and this sets everything up. And then we're going to create these buttons. These buttons are created dynamically inside the dialog. This one has an OK on it. This one has a cancel on it. And these on-click listeners are once again using the anonymous inner class tied to these individual buttons. If the user hits the cancel button, we don't really do anything. Uh, this, But if the user does click OK after entering a string, 
we're going to capture the string that was entered and then we're going to call this update menu uh, method that we discussed before to add that item into the spinner drop down menu we're now ready to test our new spinner drop down menu okay so here is the emulator that's initialized and you can see that for starters we've got three different choices to pick from and if we pick any of these you see that it echoes uh, which one we've picked now for the part where we're going to try to change it we're going to press this add button and you can see that this is the dialog that shows up and we're going to be asked to enter a new animal this is the title that we set in the dialog and now I'm going to pick a new animal called pig and I'm going to hit the OK button and you can see that pig is now displayed as the default and it's been added to the beginning of the list of the drop-down menu and so we now have this working